Okay, today uh, we're going to continue our video interviews, and I'm with uh, Christina Ferrone, uh, who is the chair of the Scientific Program Committee for 2025. Uh, so welcome, Dr. Ferrone. Thank you, Dr. DiMatteo. Happy to be here, and we really have an exciting program coming up. I want to remind everyone that the abstract deadline is October 7th, so please submit your fantastic work uh, so that we can review it. We've got some great content planned for the meeting this year. The theme of the meeting, as uh, announced by Dr. DiMatteo, is discovery. And we have been working very diligently with the disease site working groups to be able to get the best content in the different areas on the meeting. So we very much look forward to all of you participating uh, and seeing the great content that the disease site working groups and the program committee have put together. So which new groups of people are you targeting this year within the meeting? So as always, we want to make sure that we provide content for all of the academic and community surgical oncologists. But we put an extra emphasis on resident and fellow programming where there are more dedicated sessions that have been developed by the Resident and Fellow Education Committee specifically to target what we think might be interesting for the residents who are interested in surgical oncology and the surgical oncology fellows. We've also developed a dedicated APP focused track. So it'll be a cross disciplinary track that focuses the programming entirely on the APP audience and care team audience, and also trying to increase networking opportunities, not only between the APPs, but also APPs and the surgeons. Yeah, terrific. Uh, it'll be great to see these additional members uh, be added to our society. I think we have a uh, hundred or so APPs already that have signed up just in the last couple of months. And uh, lastly, how, how are you changing the hub? It's been around for, I guess, around four to five years now, and we've tried it in a couple different iterations, but what are we going to do uh, this year? Something new. Yeah, so we're actually very excited about the hub. We gathered a lot of feedback from members who have seen the hub evolve over the years. And we are changing it so that it is, one, a large poster park so that people can view electronic posters in the area. And then we're changing it to a zone focused on continuing the conversation. We have incredible speakers at the meeting that have been invited to speak on different topics. And oftentimes there's not enough time to ask questions after the talk and people are standing in line at the podium and people don't get their opportunity or they move the conversation to the hallway and there again, there's not quite that opportunity to continue the conversation. So we're going to utilize that hub space with dedicated time with the speakers you want to ask questions to so that you can continue the, the conversation, not only about the topic that they spoke about, but for other areas that they may be an expert in. Yeah, that, that should be interesting. Let's see how that works instead of all the people congregating around uh, the speaker and, and clogging up the room for the next uh, session. So, well, thanks very much for all the work uh, you and the committee are doing. Uh, it's obviously one of the key committees within the SSO and the uh, annual uh, program is uh, incredibly important for attracting existing membership and also new membership. So when when was that deadline again for the abstracts? October 7th, and we're very excited for all of you to join us for an incredible program. And I can't thank the program committee and the disease site working groups enough, as well as Megan and Patty and other members of the SSO team for helping us put all of this together. It's been a lot of work that everyone has done. Okay. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.